Hello everyone and welcome to Muse for You. This is John, your Adobe Muse instructor. And in today's video, video, I'm going to be going over the Align tool in Adobe Muse and show you the different ways Adobe Muse helps you align objects within your website. So if we open Adobe Muse, uh, I have this sample site here that I've created. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is create a square and I do that by selecting the rectangle tool and if I hold um, the rectangle tool right here and if I hold down shift and create start creating my rectangle it will actually create a square uh, holding down shift keeps the width and the height the same and that creates a square so I'm creating a, a square of 200 by 200 pixels and then I'm going to take the stroke off by clicking the stroke drop down and select none All right. So I'm going to place this over here. I'm going to copy and, and paste by uh, copy by holding down Command C, then paste by uh, holding down Command and hitting V by hitting Command V, and then if I hit Command V again, I now have three uh, squares here. Now, as you can see, they're not. I want them to be horizontally uh, the same, and I want them to have uh, equal spacing in between them. And the way we can do that is with the Align tool. Uh, if we go to the Align tool, uh, we see we have Align Objects. Uh, we can align left edges, align horizontal centers, align right edges, align top edges, align vertical centers, uh, align bottom edges, uh, distribute left edges, uh, distribute horizontal centers, and distribute right edges. Uh, distribute top edges, distribute vertical centers, and distribute bottom edges. And then we have distribute spacing over here and align to. We have a few different options here. So as you can see, it's a pretty powerful tool uh, that helps you just make sure that you know the different objects in your site are aligned how you want them to be. Uh, so what I'm going to do is select all three of these squares. So I'm going to click on the first one, and if I hold down the shift key, I can select another object, so I'll select the second square here, and if I still hold down the shift key, I can keep selecting other objects, so I'm going to select this third square here. So now I have these three squares uh, selected, and I'm going to go to align, and the first thing I want to do is align the top edges so horizontally they're all uh, aligned um, the same. I can also align bottom edges, and it'll be pretty much the same. Uh, the only difference is align top edges aligns to the uppermost uh, object, so it'll align the top edges and align all of the squares up here. And, uh, excuse me, uh, align bottom uh, will align all the squares to the bottom most edge, and it'll align all the squares down here. Uh, I'm going to align the top edges, so I click there, and we can now see that all squares are aligned. And now I want to distribute the space so that this space is the same as this space, and to do that, I just click on uh, distribute horizontal centers, so it's going to distribute the horizontal centers of all of these uh, squares. So I click here, and now there's even spacing in between here and even spacing in between here. Now the last thing I want to do is make sure that these uh, squares are exactly centered within the website. So the way I do that is I select all of them by holding down shift and clicking on each, and then I'm going to drag around left and right until I see that nice red line down the middle. Uh, that's an awesome feature with Muse that lets you know when uh, an object is right in the center of your website. So now I know that this middle square is right in the center, meaning and uh, that it's right in the center, meaning that uh, this whole section here is nice and aligned properly. There's even spacing in between here and even spacing in between here. Uh, so I'm happy with that and I've just aligned all of these objects. Uh, now I can copy and paste these three objects and just place them underneath each other. And there we go, I have a nice uh, three by three grid. I can play with the spacing if I want to, you know, give it more spacing there or less. Kind of, you know, just play around with that. And you can see Muse actually gives you awesome guidelines. It lets you know that by moving these three objects, uh, it's now 247 pixels uh, from the top here and 247 from the bottom. I can move it up and it gives me some other guidelines and things like that. So again, uh, Muse is, is pretty powerful in that sense that 
It even helps you align your objects, gives you numbers, gives you pixels, lets you know uh, if things are equidistant. Uh, did I use that right? Equidistant, that you know, there's equal distance around an object and another object. Um, so, you know, let's say I, I just want to play with one. There you can see that uh, it gives me the distance around this whole square. Like, it's, it's amazing what this, this tool can do. Uh, so I go, I'd go ahead and recommend playing with it. Just move your objects around and start seeing how Muse can help you uh, align your objects and really get uh, a very cool looking website. Uh, the last thing I'll do just to, to add some interest to this website is I'll fill in uh, these squares. Um, so I'll fill it in. I'll just select all three. I'll go to fill, add image, and I'll add uh, this image here. And I'll scale to fill, put it in the center. Okay, and then I'll add uh, another image. Uh, if you select multiple rectangles, you can fill multiple rectangles at the same time without having to do them one by one. All right, scale to fill. There we go. And fill, add image, and we'll do uh, this one here. And uh, scale to fill and center it. So now if I preview this in the browser, command shift E. And I can see I have this nice three by three grid. And you know I can I can do really a lot of interesting things with this. Um, I can change the image on rollover. So if I click on states, then I click on rollover, I go to fill, I go to the image, you know, I can change it to that. So now if I command shift E in the browser. When I roll over this image, it changes. Uh, one more time on this one. Uh, scale to fill, and let's do uh, let's do this one here. Oh, and uh, I forgot to click on the rollover state. So click on the rollover state, go to fill, uh, click on the image property there, and select your image. And now if we roll over. We have that cool rollover effect. So uh, awesome. A uh, little tip there, uh, but again, it was mostly uh, working uh, in this video with uh, the align tool. Uh, definitely use it. It can definitely help you get all your objects aligned, and and definitely use uh, the guides that Muse uh, helps you with. You know, to center things, make sure that red line is in the middle, and uh, yeah, it'll definitely make for a really nice site, very uh, nicely aligned and styled uh, nicely. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.